All right, we're going to get right to it. We have breaking news out of Minneapolis at this hour where Minneapolis City Council members at a rally about an hour ago have announced their plan to disband the Minneapolis Police Department. Andy McDonald was at the community event at Powderhorn Park where they made that announcement and joins us live. Andy, what do you know? Hey, thank you, Chris. Well, their main message here was to invest in the community and not the police. About a thousand people were here at Powderhorn Park, many still present here on this side of the slope as they watched Minnesota, Minneapolis City Council member, a majority of them uh, vote in favor of replacing, removing Minneapolis police and replacing them with community based public safety. The sign in front of the stage stated their motive to defund police. City Council President Lisa Bender said their efforts to reform have quote failed. The officials say they're looking to other ways to maintain public safety in their communities and are starting a conversation on how to move forward together. Our commitment is to do what's necessary to keep every single member of our community safe and to tell the truth that the Minneapolis police are not doing that. Our commitment is to end our city's toxic relationship with the Minneapolis to Police Department, to end policing as we know it, and to recreate systems of public safety that actually keep us safe. That was the president of Minneapolis City Council, Lisa Bender, and other city council members also uh, were talking about the same sentiment as well, Chris. Yeah, Andy, so we reached out to the mayor's office to get his reaction. Haven't got a word back from him yet. Unclear if he was consulted before this announcement or not. I want to ask you this because it's important. If there's a supermajority in the council, which would be nine votes, if there's nine votes, that's veto proof, right? Now, they haven't voted anything yet. They're announcing plans. Correct. But can you tell me how many council members were out there supporting this idea? There was in the press release leading up, there were seven on seven names on the list, but there were seven or eight also on the platform today on Sunday afternoon in front of this large crowd expressing their opinions to replace Minneapolis police. Yeah, and Andy, have they, it's a bold statement. I mean, she's making very bold statements. Have they released any other details as to how they're going to go about this or what, you know, what it's going to look like? They were talking just about starting a conversation. Obviously, the public safety is important for them, but they want to do it in a different way. They didn't get into too many details about that, the different aspects of what would go into public safety, but they did. They wanted to start a conversation, and they wanted to move forward together as a community, Chris. All right. Andy McDonald, live at Powderhorn Park in Minneapolis. Thank you for your report, and thanks for switching sides for us, coming from sports. We appreciate your help.